Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to use browser tabs. That's right. So I've had many clients um, have issues with not knowing that they could create other tabs and have tabs that are always on when they open up their browser so they can have, you know, their favorite tabs open like Facebook or PayPal or Amazon or eBay, whatever those tabs would be automatically open every time they open their browser. I'm going to actually show you how to do that here. Um, this article was actually written by Dick Evans, um, and he's a, he's a great article writer. And um, I'm going to show you how he did it. Um, he does it through Google Chrome. I'm going to show you how to do it through Google Chrome too. And also I'm going to show you how to do it through Microsoft Edge so you know both ways to do it. But some people don't always know that you don't have to open another browser to have another tab. Um, so I'm going to show you actually how to make use those browser tabs and how to create them in this video. But before we go on, let's hit the like button down below. It really helps out our channel. Hit our subscription and notification bell so you don't miss out on any new how-to videos. Okay, let's get started. So uh, I'll leave a link down below for Dick Evans' uh, article, but we're going to go through the video here. So let's go to our let's go to our our Chrome browser, Google Chrome. I'm going to bring that over here so you guys see it. So the new tabs open. Sometimes people don't have their default set up already. So right here. Now uh, you can add many tabs you want. So just hit the plus sign. Very simple. And you can do this uh, infinitely. But the more you put on the screen, I'll show you, the smaller they get. <laughs> so they start squishing them in because they want to show all up on here. Now if you hover over the tab, it does tell you what that tab is. So if you do have a lot of tabs open and it gets tiny, you can actually hover over each of those little tabs and it will actually tell you what that tab is connected to. So that's kind of nice to have. But let's show you how you can actually create some default tabs that always open when you open your browser. And this is going to be through Google Chrome this time. So you're going to go to the top left where the three dots are and click on those. And then you want to go down to settings. So that's third from the bottom. Click on settings. Now here's a quick way to get to it. Instead of searching through this whole middle area, uh, you can actually go to the left menu, go down to the bottom, it says on startup. That's what we want. Click on that, and here it is. So they give you a couple options here. You can open new tab, open the new tab page. You can have continue where you left off, or as I have it set up, is I open a specific page or set of pages. So this is where you can actually add different websites on here so they always open up on your browser so when mine opens up it opens up google chrome search my facebook account and my youtube account the dct youtube opens up right here that's how i have it set up you can add as many as you like so they always own, open up um, and that's easy to do by clicking on add new page you can use current pages so if you already have a whole bunch of tabs open and you're like hey i want these to be my main tabs then you can have use current page um, pages. I like to have specific ones, so I've chose these ones. If you want to add a new one, click on add, and then it's going to give you a place to put the URL for that that new tab. But it's really, really convenient, especially if you use things often, like I use Facebook very often. I use YouTube uh, way, way too often <laughs> for many reasons. So that's that's kind of what you do on Google Chrome. So that's the easy way to do it. The startup on the side really is a quick way to get to this section because that middle section gets very confusing with all these places to go. But that's how you do it on Google Chrome. Let me show you how to do it on Microsoft Edge. So we're going to go down to the bottom of the screen because that's where Windows likes to keep it. It's that swirly logo there. Click on that. And this is Microsoft Edge. And if you go to the top left, just like we did before, and, and the same thing with this one. Let me shrink it down some so you guys can see. You can click the plus just like we did before. Same thing. You can... Now this one doesn't say anything. Is interesting. I wonder if it does. If it's somewhere. Let's go some. Let's go to Google. I know this says Google right now, but it's it's not really there. So we're gonna go Google. We like that. And we're gonna say Google. And this is where. Okay, so now it's open right here. So let's say. See, this says Google Bing. It says Google. The new tab just says new tab because it's really not a location. So that's where that is. So now you have a whole bunch of tabs open, but you want to make sure every time you open Microsoft Edge, it opens to the tabs you want. So the way to do that, same as we did on Google Chrome, there are pretty much all the browsers are close to the same. You go to the three dots up here on the top right, bring up the menu. You want to go down to settings. But the on startup is a little different. On startup is actually near the top. It's the fourth one down here. You click on that. Same thing. Open new tab. Continue where you left off. So whatever you have left there will come up or open. 
a specific page. So we can always add a new page like we did before. You can whatever it want to be or um, set to all currently open tabs. So just like we did on the other one, you could say use all open tabs and click on that. It's very simple to do this. It's not that hard. You just have to know where to go. And that's where you need to go to actually set your tabs. Now, if you set up your tabs like this, you don't have to worry about uh, every time you go in, you have to type in the, um, the, the stuff, all the um, web addresses again, which is kind of sucky if you don't. So you can save them this way and you'll always have those tabs at the top. So it's very convenient. So that's Microsoft Edge. Same thing. Very easy. And the Google Chrome was a very, very simple. And so that's all you have to do to how to use browser tabs with Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.